Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. This is my week two playoff picks. These will be the playoff picks for the divisional round. Now, if you were following along, I just want to say, how about those Cowboys? I was 5-1 and one last week, and one of those picks included saying that the 12-5 and five Cowboys were going to beat the 8-9 uh, and nine Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, that really shouldn't be an Einstein-like revelation, except it is because there were a ton of people that thought Tampa Bay was going to beat Dallas. I mean a ton. Even Dallas fans thought that Tampa Bay was going to beat Dallas. It didn't happen. I just put two and two together. The Buccaneers averaged 16 points per game, and they couldn't run the ball. And as luck would have it, they only ran the ball 12 times against Dallas. And as luck would have it, they scored under 16 points. So, you know, that's the team I knew was coming to town. I mean, and really, they weren't coming to town because they were home. But, uh, you know, I knew that's the team that Dallas was playing, so it was easy to figure that one out. But let's look at some of the other scores. Um, you have the Seahawks getting... Uh, um, blasted by the uh, 49ers. I called that one. You got the uh, Jaguars beating the Chargers. 31-30. I called the Jaguars winning. You got the Dolphins going down in defeat, though a very close game. A closer game than most people thought. To the, um, uh, to the Buffalo Bills, 34-31. And I said that the Buffalo Bills were going to win the game. And uh, it was touch and go, but they did. And then you got the Giants beating the Vikings 31-24. That is the game I got wrong. And then you've got <coughs> the Bengals, who were actually pretty lucky to win that game 24-17. But I picked the Bengals to win. And then, as we just mentioned in the opening, I had picked the... Uh, Cowboys to beat the Buccaneers. Again, didn't really take an Einstein to figure that one out. And so let's go to my predictions for this week. As you can see, this is the slate of games. I'm not doing any helmets because there's really no need to do any helmets. But you've got the Saturday games right there in front of you. Saturday, January 21st and Sunday, January 22nd. And uh, in the um, in the Jacksonville Kansas City game, I am going to go with Kansas City. So let's take Kansas City to win that one. I don't think that this one is going out on a limb. The Jacksonville uh, Jaguars are on. I mean, they're hot. They are a hot team. They have a good offense, but I think Kansas City is a bit a bit too much for them. So we're going to take Kansas City in that one. Now, the the Giants at the Philadelphia Eagles, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the Giants could win this game. They just played. They just beat a 13-win uh, Viking team, 12 or 13-win Viking team. Um, <coughs> and they are, they are a solid team. But I'm still inclined to say I'm going to go with Philadelphia on that one. So take the Eagles to beat the Giants at home. They've had a week off. Hertz has had a week to uh, heal his hurts. And uh, I think they'll beat the Giants. They should beat the Giants. But, I mean, certainly this is a game I could get wrong. Cincinnati at Buffalo. We're going to go with Buffalo, even though Buffalo really showed that they'll make some careless mistakes against opponents. The game against Miami should not have been nearly as close as it was, but it was. But Cincinnati, they've got a banged-up offensive line. It's not going to be able to protect Burrow from that uh, Buffalo pass rush. And I think that the Buffalo offense is going to be enough to get enough points to beat uh, Cincinnati. And then finally, Dallas at San Francisco. Now, I was a big Dallas fan when they were playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I am no longer a big Dallas fan. I am going to say that San Francisco will win this game at home against Dallas. 
So uh, those are my picks. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what picks you differ on. Or let me know your picks because, I mean, there's only four games this coming weekend. But that'll be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.